we knew that small business confidence was at an all time low. We know the consumer confidence has now eclipsed the lows, eclipsed the lows of the pandemic. But the CEOs, you know, they're the ones who give up last <clears throat> because they're the ones who aren't paid to give up. You know, it's just in- eternal optimism. Like what CEO is ever, you know, in the business of guiding the quad four, right, TJ? I mean, it's like by the time they guide and then as they guide down and get bearish, like Restoration Hardware did this morning again, uh, or you know, even Jamie Dimon for that matter, it's not new. Um, you end up in a place where the buy side's like, shit. <laughs> Because a lot of the you know a lot of people on the buy side are you know late cycle and lagging too right so you know these I think this is going to be probably a top three theme on the conference calls is it you know how directionally negative CEOs are that's a good point and I, I think these conference calls for for Q two are really going to be fascinating because uh, it, you know they're going to have to just you know come out and, and and either you know be honest about things uh, or. They're going to mask, you know, what's underneath the hood. And, and that was a big part of our hotel deck was, you know, don't pay attention so much to the headline rep par numbers. You got to look what's going on underneath the business. And there's some clear signs that there's some, you know, serious issues with uh, with business travel and, uh, you know, certainly relative to, to, to expectations. And I think, you know, the, the stocks have gone down, but everything has gone down in my space. And and yet the, the hotel REITs are still kind of in that, you know, middle of their historical range on numbers that I think are way too high. So there's a lot of downside left in these stocks. And um, I think people may be a little bit, uh, by side, maybe a little bit cautious about shorting into the quarter because Q2 is good. Uh, and, and, you know, the summer is going to be good because of leisure. But again, if, 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 if these guys, and, and there's, there's some good honest management teams out there that may really have to, you know, bite the bullet and, and discuss what's really going on. If that happens, the whole sector is going to get smoked and, and Q2 earnings are not going to be the positive catalyst that people think. And misleading people, lying to people, or like I said with Powell, you're either willfully blind, which means you're lying to people or to yourself. Um, or being incompetent. That's another one, right? I mean, you have a lot of CEOs and CFOs that have no macro process. So incompetent is what drives the blindness. You know, the real risk is actually that the Fed is creating price instability in markets. And that's what CEOs see, right? CEOs see their stock price. They see their inability to tap credit lines. They see, you know, they see what markets see. And um, eventually it all comes home to roost. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.